Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my crazy adventures and life hacks. Today, we're diving into something a bit different but super intriguing, why I always wake up at 3 a.m. Yep, you heard that right. So grab your favorite midnight snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. The mystery of 3 a.m. So you might be wondering, why 3 a.m.? It's such a specific time, right? Well, let me tell you, this has been happening for as long as I can remember. At first, I thought it was just a weird quirk, but then I started noticing a pattern. It's almost like my body has an internal alarm clock set for 3 a.m. Kinda spooky, huh? The science behind it. All right, let's get a bit nerdy for a second. According to sleep experts, our bodies go through different sleep cycles throughout the night, each lasting about 90 minutes. Around 3 a.m., we often hit the REM, rapid eye movement stage of sleep, which is when our brains are most active. This could be why some of us wake up during this time. Our brains are just too busy dreaming up the next big idea. But there's more to it than just brain activity. There's a thing called the witching hour, or the devil's hour, which historically has been considered a time when supernatural activity is at its peak. Now, I'm not saying my house is haunted or anything, but it's an interesting theory, right? Stress and anxiety. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, stress and anxiety. We all have those days when our minds just won't shut off, and guess what? Stress and anxiety can actually cause you to wake up in the middle of the night. If you've got a lot on your mind, 3 a.m. might be the time your brain decides to go into overdrive. It's like, hey, remember that embarrassing thing you did in fifth grade? Let's think about that now. Ugh, thanks brain. The spiritual side. For those of you who are into spirituality, waking up at 3 a.m. can be seen as a sign from the universe. Some believe that it's a time when your spirit guides or angels are trying to communicate with you. So if you're into that sort of thing, maybe take a moment to meditate or jot down any thoughts or feelings you have when you wake up. Who knows, you might uncover something profound. Personal reflection time. For me, waking up at 3 a.m. has become a time of personal reflection. Instead of fighting it, I've embraced it. I use this quiet time to journal, meditate, or just enjoy the peace and quiet before the world wakes up. It's like my own little secret window of time where I can focus on myself without any distractions. Plus, the creativity that flows at this hour is unreal. Tips to deal with it. If you're finding these 3 a.m. wake-ups a bit too frequent and disruptive, here are a few tips. Keep a consistent sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day to regulate your internal clock. Limit screen time before bed. The blue light from screens can mess with your sleep cycle. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Whether it's reading, taking a bath, or listening to calming music, find what works for you. Try deep breathing or meditation. This can help calm your mind if you wake up feeling anxious. So there you have it, folks. That's why I always wake up at 3 a.m., whether it's the science, the stress, or the spiritual side of things, I've learned to embrace this quirky habit and make the most of it. If you've experienced something similar, drop a comment below and let's chat about it. Maybe we can swap stories and tips on how to handle these early morning wake-ups together. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious, stay adventurous, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.